hey guys so welcome to cr and today's on us chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to learn to make a triangles booleans on a cylinder to make those triangle booleans on a cylinder just you need to add one cylinder and vertex should be 64 like this you can move the cylinder and you can place it on the floor then go to the edit mode and just add set scale now you can see it's fine so now you can delete these faces we don't need those faces and then add one plane and then rotate it into the 90 degree like this and then scale it down that plane now select these words and press n to merge at center after merging these words just you need to adjust the scale of this triangle and you can add a small bevel on this triangle corner so give the offset amount for the bevel and that's look fine now you can see you can create a triangle cut on the cylinder as per the triangle face just take a knife tool and create that cut and you can use the symmetrize option and like this you will get the cut on your cylinder then you need to add the loop cuts which will support that boolean so just add a loop cuts like this So which will maintain the shape of the geometry. Just adjust the position of your words. then add more loop cuts and just create the curve topology right there
I'll select these faces I guess I need to insert it So now select these faces and then insert it And you can give the insert amount for these faces And then you just need to extrude inside these faces Then one more time insert it And then you can add the subdivision surface modifier and share smooth it so you can see we got that triangle boolean on a cylinder and if you want to rotate this then just we need to select these faces and we can rotate it easily so just select these faces So just we need to delete this part. This is not necessary. Select these faces and then delete these faces. So we got this shape. Only the one part of the cylinder. Now we can rotate it into the 45 degree to get that the duplication. So shift D and then rotate it into the 45 degree. We need to do this step for the 360 degree just duplicate it and make it you will face little bit of difficulty if you do like this so just you need to do manually rotate it into the 45 degree every time So you will get this, then select everything and then join it and then press M. Select everything, press M and merge by distance. So you can weld them together. And now that look pretty well. So you can see we have created those easily triangle boolean on a cylinder. Then if you want to take the symmetry along the z axis then you need to add one loop cut and just you need to snap your origin to that loop cut so add a loop cut like this and we can snap it our 3d cursor to the center of that loop cut so snap the 3d cursor to the center of that loop cut and then set your origin to the 3d cursor then you can take the symmetrize along the z axis you will get this kind of shape so you can see that look pretty well and if you want more advanced shape like that the alternative triangle billions 
then also there is one easy method so just delete these words and you will get something like this and now you need to select the one side and you need to rotate that or other rotate it to the another side uh, means you need to rotate it into the 45 degree so you can easily make that shape Okay, now shift T to duplicate and take it to the somewhere else and now we will work on this cylinder. Then select these faces and then press I guess you need to delete these faces. So just delete this and now you can select these faces and then go to your top view and rotate it into the 45 degree maybe. Now you don't need to rotate it 45, you can rotate it into 22.5 degree. So just need to rotate it into 22.5 degree. Okay, like this, so you will get the alternate triangle, means something like this kind of shape. To make this kind of shape, you need to delete the in-between faces of both of two triangles. So for that, just select these faces like this and then delete them. Before that, just insert it. You can press I to insert and then B to remove that boundary. Otherwise, you can easily just delete these faces. That's also fine. So just select these faces and then delete them. So now you can select the top of one and then rotate it into the 22.5 degree. This we have taken the symmetrize option to reduce the efforts of deleting faces. Then move these faces along the z-axis and match it like this. Now select these faces, select these words and press to create the connection. You can just select these edges and then press F, F, F and go to the edge mode and you just need to press F, F, F to fill those gaps. Easily you can fill those gaps. And now if you want to add a loopers like there, then you can otherwise it's fine. So you can see easily we have created that strangle balloon on the cylinder.
just wait we need to know the good topology and right method for the subdivision surface modeling and you can see we have created those triangle boolean's on cylinder that's look pretty well decent <laughs>